Hello, I'm Thomas, and today I'll be here to guide you through today's news. Hey AGS, Queen Elizabeth II's cows used to sleep on waterbeds because it helped ease of pressure points. Have a good weekend. Now for the announcements. There will be a cheerleading fundraiser meeting at the Chipotle near the mall. 33% of the sales will be donated and this event will occur on Saturday, March 11th. And for the senior projects, the fourth faculty update form is due on or before this Friday, March 10th. It will be your responsibility to arrange a time to meet with your advisor. If you have any questions, see Ms. Nelson during advisory in room 265. Now on to Jack for weather. Thanks, Thomas. The weather for this weekend is, go is ranging around the low 40s to high 30s. Today, f today this Friday, we'll ha have a high of 43 with periods uh, of rain. Saturday will be the coldest of these days, having a high of 38, as well as having a 40% chance of snow. Sunday will be cloudy with a high of 43. That's all for this weekend's weather. Now on to Trey for sports. Thank you, Jack. Now it's time for sports. On Wednesday, the wrestling team played at Hershey, and on Thursday, the wrestling team played at Hershey again, and Christian won his match. And also, our ice hockey team also played that day. They played the Penguin Cup playoff game. They won the playoff game 6-3 to three against Shaler. On Friday, the wrestling team will play Hershey for the PIAA State Wrestling Championships. And last but not least, Bowling Club will be going to Western PA Regional Championships at AMF Noble Manor. Where's our team's luck? Now on to Xavier with current events. Thank you, Trey. On Saturday, March 11th, Chipotle by the Mall is doing a fundraiser for Greensburg Salem High School cheerleading, with 33% of sales going to the cause. The Laurelville Retreat Center is also hosting a backyard burning lunch and learn, where participants can learn about birds and grab a meal. On Sunday, March 12th, the Oak Ridge Boys are playing at the Palace Theater. The last day of the third quarter is Friday, March 24th, and the fourth quarter begins on Monday, March 27th, so make sure to get your assignments done and turned in. That's all I have for you today with current events. Hi, this is Gavin Swartz. I'm here with Rick Still. I have some questions about him for the Greensboro Volunteer Fire Department. First off, anything involving the young people? The firefighter program, which is uh, made up of students, or I should say people who are ages 14 to 17. With that, those individuals are actually allowed to ride the fire truck. There are certain things they're allowed to do on the fire ground. Um, you know, they're not allowed to put an air mask on and grab a hose and go into a burning building. But there's a lot of jobs on the fire ground that these people are able to do. Um, something we do as a department, we keep our junior firefighters active. Um, as you heard me say earlier, I'm a school teacher, so that gives me the luxury of having summers off. So um, once June rolls around, every Wednesday morning, from 10 a.m. till almost 1 p.m., we go down to the drill tower, which is located at Lynch Field, uh, that big concrete block building you see there. And um, we have training specifically for our junior firefighters. So it, it gives them the knowledge they need that as they start riding the equipment and participate in things, they know where everything is. They know how to do things. And this ultimately keeps building until they turn 18 years old. And hopefully we can keep them as active firefighters, you know, keep working forward with the city to, to keep it safe. Thank you for interviewing with me. Hey, not a problem. Good report, Gavin. That's all for today's news. Have a good weekend.
Hello, GS. Now I have a good one.